So, I want to talk a little about how people really relate to each other, especially in family groups, or it could be telepathic groups. And what I have to say, dear ones, is, is a little odd, so you may take it, you may look at it askance. <laughs> Um, what it is, uh, in the New Age community, people talk about ropes, ropes connecting people from the one chakra to another chakra, for instance. That's usually among people who are related or spend a lot of time with each other. It could be like a mother-child, it could be between significant others, it could be sisters and brothers groups so it could be family groups or it might be work groups and sometimes people who have the same energy connect with each other or complementary energy or opposite energy connect with each other telepathic, telepathically so those are some possibilities ropes that means a, a, a frequent connection and uh, I used to think, uh, like the New Age school of thought, that it was a chakric connection. Um, but now I think that it has to do with the two levels of mind that people have. We have the thinking mind, what we all think of as the mind, and then we have the gut brain, which is located in the large intestine, apparently. And so there actually are apparently brain cells, neurons, lining the large intestine. And the functions of these two areas of mind are very different. For instance, the, the higher brain conceptualizes things, judges things, has abstract notions, morality, things like that. The lower brain has to do with survival and sexuality, creativity, the will of the ego in the world. So, and this lower brain, it doesn't have a, a control center. It's impelled by desire, the desire body. The higher brain is tempered somehow. It's tempered by peer pressure and what we learn in our youth and what we continue to learn throughout our lives. It has, it's like a car with brakes and the other one's more like a hang glider. It just goes with the wind, if you know what I mean. So these two centers, these two centers in each person, either one of them can communicate with another person. My gut brain can con communicate with another person's gut brain. Or it can, com don't ask me how I know, it's just too long of a story. Or it can communicate with another person's thinking brain. And vice versa, another person can do the same, connect with my thinking brain or with my gut brain using their own gut brain. The thinking brain can do that too. It can connect with either center on another person. So, you could say that the unconscious thought cloud of the world, something I've spoken about quite frequently in the past, is the link of the gut brain, my gut brain, with other people's gut brains. It's a little more complicated than that. but. With our thinking, with our awareness, sorry, not our thinking brain, but our awareness, we need to be aware of what's going on with our gut brain. Otherwise, otherwise we go unconscious and otherwise we, we also influence the world unwisely. So, 
I, there's more to this story, but this is all for this moment since I'm going to meet up in a couple of minutes to be continued. Love you all very much. <laughs>